Hello, good evening. Welcome on a Sunday evening to Raincross Farms Makery. I am Robin and I am your host for our little crafting session. And behind the camera, behind the computer is my husband Bill. He's going to hang out for a while. He's got some he's got some chores he's working on outside. And so he's going to be coming and going, but we are glad you are here. If you Pull this up on my computer. If you're here, please. Hello. If you uh, let me pull this up. It looks like is it going? Are we losing a signal? I can't tell. You're just gonna have okay. to see. I'm I'm hearing my voice. Is it from, is it from the microphone? Wait, that. Let me pin this comment and pin that one. Okay, so if anybody's there, say hello. Let me know. Let me know how it's working. Do, 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 do. I don't, where is that coming from? Oh, okay, skeletons, there we go. Hey, Lisa, welcome, and thank you for sprinkling. Melissa, thank you so much for joining us for the, the stars and for sprinkling. Okay, we're trying something new. Hi, Patty, welcome. Let me know, is my, okay, I'm seeing some thumbs up, so is the volume okay? We're trying. We're trying a new microphone, an external microphone, when I'm doing it with the phone. So... Do you still need me to unpin that? No, I think I, I, think okay. I did. But it keeps coming up, so I don't know if it's got that permanent pin to it. Anyway, welcome so much. Thanks for joining us. And we, some of you have already done it. We hope that you will like or love our page, follow our page, sprinkle it out. Some of you have already done that. Thank you so much either to your your feed or if you belong to any craft groups that might be interested in something that we're doing that would be great and we do also have our stars activated we appreciate any and all support that you give us so welcome to sunday night kind of a little bit later crafting kind of because i i kind of want the sun to go down i kind of want it to get dark because we're going to do something with our glow in the dark paste and I want to be able to show that to you. So, okay, volume good. Uh, let's see, volume good, thanks. Very good, good. Okay. My okay. guess is that, that you, it's still coming through the phone, it's not coming through the, the microphone, so I don't know how you have Okay, that I don't know so how to test out. it. I don't know how to, I don't know how to we'll test it. Out. It's working, anyway, so. Anyway, it's working. Okay, so tonight we are going to use this transfer. We're going to do a little Halloween thing. I'm not a huge Halloween fan, so I'm kind of wanting to get it out of out of the way. Not wanting to get it out of the way. I wanted to get these so that if it's something you want to do, you have time to order and get your transfer. So this is, I've got this feeling inside my bones. And look at these adorable little dancing skeletons. They are going to be glow in the dark. So, awesome, awesome, awesome. Let me take this out. So this is a C size transfer, so it's 12 by 18. A couple of things you could do. One thing I thought about doing is doing this part on a long skinny, like a six by 18 board, and then put these, dangle these down below. I'll show you how in a minute. But we're gonna save that for another night. We're just going to do it all on one board. So I'm going to cut this. Try to cut it straight. Okay, so we're going to do it in two parts. And I don't know if you were with me the day after I went to Hobby Lobby. They were having 90% off everything in their spring collection. Well, look what was in their spring collection. Apparently, Marvel Comics from 2021 weren't especially popular. 
So this was 90% off. It was regularly $20. It's a solid, it's not a hardwood, it's a, a press wood, but it's a, a good solid wooden surface that we can easily paint over. And we have a 12, it's actually like a 13 by 19 surface. So I got it for $2. $2, you can't beat that. Makes me think of Grateful Dead. Okay. The Dancing Skeletons. The Dancing Skeletons? Yeah. Okay, well, I apparently missed out on the Grateful Dead era. You started tuning me out a long time ago. Are you a, are you a <laughs> deadhead? Is that what they are? Anyway, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to do it. We're going to do it this way. It comes with hardware, but the hardware is at the top. So I unscrewed it and I will remount it this way. Now, let me show you how we're going to do the skeletons. My friends at Not Just Frames sells the wooden, the little skeleton, the little dancing skeletons in wooden cutouts. So they match up to all. There it goes. Okay. Maybe now? No? Okay. It's still stuck. Yeah, you're uh -oh. on. Are we freezing? Let me know. Anyway, we are going to, we're going to chalk our little skeleton guys on these. Now, this is what I was thinking is if I did it on a long skinny board and then I could dangle these, I could, I could chalk them on both sides and kind of make a little hanging skeleton thing. So we might do that another time. Okay, so let's get this board ready. Um, 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 let's see, not hearing any other comments. I don't know. So we've either frozen or lost people. Anyway, the last time I did this board, I was talking about painting it and I didn't want to paint it. It's a big board. I didn't want to paint it with a little paintbrush. And so I got out my, my little big daddy sponge brush and Cheryl said, use the go to Dollar Tree and buy the the car washing sponges the big yellow car washing sponges and paint with those and I thought okay well I never did get to Dollar Tree but I did have these from Dollar Tree these are they're called nail guard sponges they're just kitchen sponges got scrubby on one side we're not going to use that it's kind of got a little place for you to grip it these are a game changer. I may never go back to paintbrushes again. So we are going to paint with a sponge. Have you ever done that? Lisa likes something. Okay, I am going to give it just a real quick sand. It doesn't need it, it's smooth. And I'm just going to kind of rough up that surface. So the paint has a little something to grip onto. Now the last one, Bill took out to the garage and used his uh, orbital sander and sanded off this sticker because this is just a, a paper stuck to the board. Okay, so we're going to paint with a sponge. So this is pretty thick. I'm going to... Well, one thing we noticed when I sanded it, though, I broke through the coating on the surface, uh -huh. and when you painted it, or I actually used spray paint, when we painted Oops, it, it I raised the paper. Much. So that okay. was something we had to be careful of. Okay, I think I have too much here, so I'm going to put some of this back. We can put out more as we need it. Okay, so, sponge. Look at that! Who to thunk? I actually do need more of that. So I'm using I'm using Waverly chalk paint. Paint the color is ink. So it's just black. And I am just quickly painting this up with a sponge. Tell me, have you ever painted with a sponge? Basically, the sponge brush is the same thing. Okay, now I can see a few little areas where that color is poking through. That's okay, we'll just do a quick second coat. And it will be quick because look how fast that goes. Okay, let's dry this up and we'll put on a second coat. A 
Okay, I've asked before, but maybe this is a different group. Do you decorate for Halloween? Do you decorate for Halloween? And if you do, what kind of things do you do? Do you go all out creepy? Or do you just do the cutesy stuff? Generally, I don't do the creepy. I pretty much do the cute stuff. And those, those skeletons are not creepy, they're cute. Okay, so with chalk paint, it covers really well, it, it adheres really well, and it dries really quickly. So this is just about dry. I don't want to put my second coat on until it's dry. So who are my Halloween decorators out there? So what Let's see, what decorations have we done? We have done, for Halloween, we have done, uh, we did our black cats out of scrap wood, and we did a scarecrow, which is not necessarily Halloween, it could just be autumn. And what else did we do? Is that all the Halloween stuff we've done? Okay, so let's put on a second coat. So again, chalk paint, and this is just a Dollar Tree kitchen sponge. They're called nail guard sponges. It's one of those really tight weave, not weave, but tight to, it's not one of those sponges with all the holes in it. And look how fast I'm painting this. It, like I said, it's a game changer. How many of you are gonna go out and buy some sponges so that you can paint up some large surfaces? I'll just steal my wife's. Yeah, that's how it works. Okay. Smooth out as much of those brush, brush strokes, sponge strokes, I guess, as I can. And there we have it. Cool, cool, cool. Let's give this a short dry. And I'm actually going to be painting these. In fact, I, it comes in a set of two. If you're interested in these, they go with this transfer. They're made to, to match this transfer. Um, there's a link at the bottom of the pinned comment. Yes, it is a great idea. I. I don't know why I had never heard of it before or thought of it before, um, but if you're interested in, in getting these, I think I put the, in the pinned comment the website for notjustframes.com. You can go there, tell them Robin, tell them Robin sent you. I don't get anything out of it, but she likes to, she likes to send me freebies, so I'll make them up and then send her photos so she can use it for her advertising. So just our way of supporting another small business. Yes, yes, yes. <coughs> Cheryl, I give I give my the credit for the idea to Cheryl. I'm sure she saw somebody else doing it. I don't think Cheryl's on yet tonight. She's one of my regulars. mostly dry so I'm gonna set it aside let it continue drying just a little bit now you get two sets of these skeletons so I have already painted one side of the skeletons 
And I thought, oh, okay, I'll get my brush out for this. No, use your sponge. That's what I did. I just took the sponge and I painted these guys a whole lot faster. Question for you on the sponge. Yes. When I'm, when I'm using uh, fleece or whatever to do finishing on wood, mm -hmm. it soaks up a lot of the, of the paint. Do you lose a lot of paint in your sponge? I haven't. I can kind of see I'm, it's maybe soaked in a quarter of an inch. But so it's not a lot. It's not a lot. I don't think. I think the between how much time it saves and how much easier it is, it's well worth it. Even if I do use maybe a little bit more paint. But there's still paint in here. Of course, I could probably scrape it down and, and salvage some of it, but. I can, I'm still getting some paint out of here, so it lasts, it lasts a good long time. Nancy says we're crazy kids. We are crazy kids. Okay, I've got a little, where I had my fingers, I'm trying to not get all painty. So I do have a little bare spot that I'm going to go back, but I'm going to dry this up so I have some place to hold it to finish painting. Okay, what do you think? Would these be cute dangling down to? I think they would. I think maybe we will do another project with the second set. Get some on the side. Okay, so much faster. Done. Okay. So I'm going to put my sponge in some water because I could, I could just trash it because I get, they're basically, well, you get six of them for $1.25, so they're like 20 cents each. I could trash it and not, and not uh, lose much sleep over it, but I think I can clean it up, rinse it out, and use it again. For some reason, these shapes remind me of my kids when they were little. And you know how they would kind of uh, sit and watch television and they would be all, they wouldn't just sit there straight. These remind me of my son, Michael, and some of the different poses I would find him in. Okay, or they kind of look like monkeys too. Well, okay, Michael. I'm going to set those aside and bring back my board. Now, this is freshly painted on wood, and I'm going to put a sticky transfer down on it. So I don't want it to, I don't want the sticky to pull up the paint. So I'm going to wax this surface. And I'm really only going to chalk the top part. This is going to go on the top. But because the wax will actually put a little bit of a gloss on it. I can't just wax the top without it changing the look of the of the paint. So I'm going to I'm going to chalk the entire surface. But I'm really only needing to chalk the top. And my last couple of projects, I've been getting too much wax on them. So I'm going to try and be very careful to not get too much wax on this. Thank you for sprinkling, Lisa. Oh, hey, Nancy. Didn't say hello to you. I don't, did I, I don't think I even saw you in church today. She came 
came in at the end. Did you? Yeah, I well, was not at the end. She came in. She came in after I was gone to kids. I think so. Probably. I said hello to I her. See, yeah. She said hello to me. Okay. I guess that's a good thing. So I'm going to buff off my excess wax. Camera view, it has some shiny spots. It does. Is that wax? Or That's is that wax. Just, or well, it's be... probably partly the the paint surface, yeah. and just how the wax is adhering to it. Now, what I've seen done to make sure that wax goes on smooth is you take some heat and you basically melt the wax. You're really supposed to let it sit it soak in for about 15 minutes or so. To get the best results. I never take that time to do that when I'm doing a live. So I'm just going to kind of remelt the wax with my heat gun. And that is a heat gun. And buff off some more. And I don't think the shiny spots are going to cause too much problem. And then we are going to wax our little critters too. Our little our little skeletons. Hmm? Our little skeletons. I'm just talking to myself. Okay, so I've got this feeling inside my bones. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. So, brand new, super sticky. So, I'm going to fuzz it to get rid of some of that stickiness. If I can get this started, one of these corners will start. Okay, so I start at the corner, go to the edge, peel that off, set that aside. And I'm gonna put a little bit of lint on the sticky so that it's not, that it doesn't grab so tight that it causes problems. Okay, set that aside. And I'm going to center this. Now this can go, this can go down a little bit. Okay. This is gonna be so cute. Now, I'm not going to do this part glow in the dark. I'm just going to do the skeletons glow in the dark. So I'm pushing that down. Pushing that down. Make sure it's adhered. Making sure there's no cat hairs. Why there's a cat hair on it, I don't know. No bubbles no big lumps of lint and i'm going to use my white my bright white chalk paste and we are going to just chalk this up super easy if you've never done this, you have got to give it a try. I have made signs. I've made signs with my Cricut and it works. There's a place for, I, I haven't completely gotten rid of my Cricut, but this is just so much easier and so much faster. If I can find a design I like, it's so much easier, so much faster, reusable. I'm not having to weed out vinyl. I'm not having to locate an SVG. Okay, so scraping off the excess, put it back in my jar, remove the cat hair, and let's peel this up. And I'm going to do this slowly, so if there's any, okay, there's a couple of issues right there. 
could be a wax issue. Or this might end up just looking rustic. Okay, so it pulled up a little bit. I think that could be that could be the wax again. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to work on my wax technique. But you get the idea. I can easily lay this back down and rechalk it later if I don't like it. it. Pulled up a little bit of the paste, but I've got this feeling inside my bones. Okay, now let's work on those little guys. And I'm not quite ready to wash this yet. So I'm going to spray this so that paste doesn't dry in the screen. Okay. So I've got my little I've got my little skeletons. And I'm actually gonna try this without without waxing, which means I need to I need to really fuzz these. So let me get my fuzz cloth. And You guys are kind of quiet tonight. Is everybody out there? Does everybody did everybody have a good weekend? Let me know. What did you do this weekend? Was it a working weekend? Was it a working around the house weekend? Did you go out and do something fun weekend? Okay. And we are not going to do the hey boo if you've got it haunt it. We're not going to do that. We could, but we're not. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to do this upside down. Just, well, maybe not. Maybe I'll do them one at a time. center. So if I lift this up to the light, I can kind of see behind it. And I can see it's still a little off center. No, I'm off center the other way. Okay, this is the hard part, is getting these things lined up. Some people use a light box. I don't have one. I might have to make one. Okay. So I think that one's good. And let's see. That one's this guy. Get him centered on there. Okay, close. Okay, let's see. Oh, you've been sick from cancer meds. I'm sorry. Does it last for long or does, does it kind of go away? And then, is it, maybe I'm being too nosy, is it, is it chemo? Or is it, I don't know. I don't know what I'm asking. Is there any hope for relief in sight? 
And Patty says, went over to friends Saturday for a cookout, had family over for dinner today to see one of the granddaughters. Oh my goodness, off to college. We have some adopted granddaughters who are in college. Okay. They just finished their first week. So I need to, we need to give them a quick text and let them know we're thinking about them. We had some friends, some, I don't want to say old friends because they're not old. Long term, long time friends who are visiting in the area. And so they showed up at church today. So that was an exciting surprise. Haven't seen them for a lot of years. Okay. There's Cindy on Hey, Cindy. How are you doing? Brittany says, oh, yeah, oh. Country Live. Yay, Brittany. Hey, how is, how two. is baby Bourbonnet? How are you? Everybody doing good? Are you getting any Landon, <laughs> Landon Mark. Getting any sleep? I'm sure she's getting some. Not probably not nearly enough. It's all worth it. It doesn't last forever. Okay. And let's get Lisa this. Says she's doing two types of treatment, and right now she's on the pills. That just does not sound no. well. So may they work well and quickly for you. We will. Keep you in our prayers. I need to go check out there okay. before uh, it gets too dark because I got to make sure the water's flowing. Mm -hmm. So I'll be back. Okay, so this is the hard, boring part: is getting this lined up because I'm not just plopping it down. But they are they are these cutouts, so it. Uh, oh, there we go. That's pretty good. Okay, so I've got all five of them laid down. And I'm gonna push this down, make sure there's no air bubbles. We're gonna end up doing this twice. We're gonna do this with white to make it stand out. And then we're gonna go back and we are going to do it with glow in the dark over the top. So I think that will look so cool. Okay, so I'm gonna switch out to my smaller squeegee and just gonna start chalking these guys. Now, if you didn't do glow in the dark, it would look cute just with the black and white. Let's see if I can get these all done before I peel them up. Or I could have done this with our shimmer frost, but I wanted that glow in the dark. So. Now I also could have mixed the glow in the dark with the white and it has the same effect. It will still glow in the dark, but I think when you do a solid layer of the glow in the dark, it gives a better effect. So instead of mixing it, I'm going to do two separate layers. Down to his phalanges. Okay, it's going to be cute. Okay, scrape off as much excess as I can back in the jar and let's start peeling these off. Oh, oh, is he cute? Look at that. They're not spooky at all. Like I said, I don't go out, for, I don't go out for the spooky, scary, wicked, evil stuff. But dancing skeletons, how spooky can they be? Cute. 
go off. Yay! And our last one. Cute, 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 cute. I, I like these. Okay, so I'm going to clean this so that I don't lay down the white again. I'm going to push that aside. So I'm going to clean this off. I'm going to seal this up. And I'm going to take my spray bottle. I'm going to try not to spray those. And I'm just going to spray it with water. He's doing good. Yes, I do want I do want pictures and yes, you are not going to remember what sleep is for several months. Okay. Thanks, Lisa. So I'm starting with either a paper towel or this is a Swedish dishcloth. It's just a reusable, re rewashable dishcloth and I'm getting that top layer of paste off. And then if this was a paper towel, I could toss this, throw it away. And you can see I still have paste in my screen. That's okay, this wasn't meant to completely clean it out. So I'm gonna switch out to my board eraser, which is like a magic eraser, but no chemicals. And I'm gonna give it another little spray. And this is going to, I don't know how it does it, it just magically grabs onto that paste and pulls it out of the screen. And I use the paper towel first because I think it saves a little wear and tear on my board erasers. I feel like they last a little longer. They're not meant to last forever, but I think they last a little bit longer when I get that initial layer off. So now that's the front. I can still see some paste because it likes to go through the screen and hang around the back. So we're going to flip it over, peel off that fuzz. And clean the back the same way. So I'm getting all the paste out of the screen. These screens can be reused 10 to 12 times, guaranteed by the company, even more if you take really good care of them. You can probably get 20, 25 uses out of them. If you clean them up really well, pretty quickly, they will last you a long time. So you can make lots and lots and lots of skeletons. Okay, if I was done with this, I would let it air dry, but I need to use it again to put down the glow in the dark paste. So I'm gonna take just a paper towel and just kind of lightly dry it off. Don't let the paper stay too long on the sticky because you know what happens if you put a sticker on paper. It adheres to the paper and you can't separate them. But while it's damp, you've got, you've got some time that you can use to dry that off. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of Wave this around, air dry it. Don't use a heat gun. Don't use a heat gun anywhere near this because it will melt it. Now we have a quick dry tool. It's not as, it's not as hot. It's okay. I still wouldn't let this warm air linger around it, but just, just a word of caution. If you're using a, a real life heat gun or a hair dryer that gets kind of hot, you don't want to use it too much around your your transfers because you'll melt them. Hi, Rhonda, welcome. We are making, let me quickly review, we're using one of our 90% off surfaces from Dollar, Dollar Tree from Hobby Lobby. And we have, I got this feeling in my bone, inside my bones. And now we are making these cute little skeletons. And we have chalked them with white now we're going to go through and we are going to chalk over them with the glow in the dark. So I want to make sure these are good and dry. So I'm going to just give them a quick zap.
Okay, now, when I put down the glow in the dark, this is, this is our glow in the dark paste. Same as our chalk paste, but it's got whatever the magical stuff is that makes it glow in the dark. When I put this over the top, it pretty much dries clear. I wouldn't say 100% clear, but it only, it only changes it very minimally. And so I'm going to line this up right over, right over where I chalked it before. This is a lot easier to line up because I can see that white through it. And I'm push that down. Let me see if I can get them all lined up. So I can do them all at once. So line up. So I can see that white paste through the holes in the screen. I know you probably can't. And it's not crucial if I get it exactly on there, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of that way. I kind of want to get it lined up pretty perfect. Okay, this guy, his thumb and his eyeballs, his eye sockets. I guess they're not eyeballs anymore. And that's lined up. This is a whole lot easier than the first time. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So I've got that laid down right on top of, in the exact same spot where I had the white. And I'm gonna go over it with our glow in the dark. Okay, thank you, Rhonda. Are you a, are you a Halloween decorator, Rhonda? I generally am not, not so much, not so much the spooky stuff anyway. And I am going to, I'm going to give this just a little stir, just in case whatever that magical glowing luminescence magic ingredient is, just in case it needs to be mixed up. I'm going to mix that up. And we're going to chalk over it just like it was regular chalk paste. Now it doesn't show, it kind of goes on clear. So I kind of have to keep an eye on where I'm applying it because I can't see it really, really well. Like I said, because it goes on clear. So I don't want to miss any spots. usually make things oh you have a seasonal tree too did I know that or are you another person that has a seasonal tree I know someone who does and I I need to do that I have a tree that I have out it's a it's a Christmas tree but you wouldn't know it if you didn't it just looks like a pine tree and I keep it up all year round because we live out in the country and we're around pine trees so it doesn't look odd but I probably need to start decorating it up. These would be cute on the tree. Just the little skeletons. Maybe that's what I'll do with my second set. So the little wood cutouts, I don't sell them, but the, um, the company that does, I have on that pinned comment, it's notjustframes.com, and they do not work with chalk couture but they use chalk couture transfers and create um, create things that go with it so every time we come out with a new transfer they usually find a, a, a surface to add to it 
so they're not competing with they're not competing with my company because my company doesn't provide these but anyway if you're interested in getting them they're I forget how much they are but I know you get two sets two sets and they always have free shipping and they are fast and they are nice and I highly recommend them so this would make cute little ornaments for your okay so I'm not gonna you're not gonna see any difference because I just have that glow in the dark over it so until we turn out the lights and hopefully it will show up on my phone camera but when it's not dark or when this paste is not charged up with light the white shows through and it they look awesome they look so awesome okay so i've got all of that off i'm going to lay this down on my drying mat i'm going to spray it i clean up with the glow in the dark paste the same way i clean up with any of my pastes just water, paper towel, and a board eraser. Okay, so let's give these a dry. Let's put this aside. And let's dry these up. And glue them on. and then we will turn out the lights. You good, it looks kind of dark outside. I purposely went went on live a little bit later. Oh, you you have what? I think you're the one that was the first one that told me you had a seasonal tree. You need to send me pictures of it. I think you sent me, you sent me pictures of one of your seasons. I can't remember what it was. Was it Easter or Valentine's Day or? Okay, so I'm noticing the glow-in-the-dark paste takes just a little bit longer to dry, which is okay. I think you, prob you probably get a little extra work time with it. So you don't have to rush through pasting. Okay, now I did not bring down, did not bring down my... Uh, flashlight. The glow in the dark case does need to be charged up with light. So bright sunlight and then and then it will glow. Did you know Tracy Wagner with Made with Love Country Crafts? No, I don't. I don't. Maybe the name sounds, I don't know. I know several Tracys. What about her? What do I need to know about her? Okay, so let's see. Let me see how these have how they have these. Okay, so they've got I don't have to do it this way, but they've got that guy there. And then they've got this guy here. And then they've got this guy. And then they've got that guy. And then they've got that guy. Okay. So let's kind of center them up. And we're just going to glue them down, and that actually gives a little chunk of wood. That actually gives a little bit of dimension. Okay, so he looks like he's jumping. Okay. <laughs> I'm liking it. Okay, so let's let's glue down this little center guy. And I'm just I'm not going to put I'm not going to do solid glue. I'm just going to do the extremities, I think. try something you know when you get those little hairs on your um, from your hot glue someone said take a heat gun and it fries them so I've got some hairs I'm gonna fry them Ooh, that works 
cool. Okay, so I'm not worried about, about, uh, oh, she's Chalk Couture too. I don't, she doesn't ring a bell, so I don't think she's in on my team. So it's probably not a name I remember, but I will have to keep an eye out for her. And I'm not worried about those hot glue strings because I'm going to fry them. And I'm going to have to leave the camera to turn out the, to turn out some of the lights. But you guys will just have to forgive me for going off camera. They do about putting the skeletons on. Yes, they would be so cute. You could use the little, um, you could use the little power punch, or if you have a crocodile, to poke little holes in them. If you wanted to hang them from a string, or you could use like fishing wire, and it wouldn't show. I was thinking about doing this on a long skinny board, and just dangling these down the bottom that uh, looks like he's kicking him in the head <laughs> smudged a little peel that off later and let's do whatever this guy's doing break dancing I guess Put him there. Cute, 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 cute. Okay, I've got this. I smeared some glue. Clean that up. And I've got I've got all kinds of wispy. I don't want spider webs on this, so I'm gonna use my heat gun and I'm gonna fry all those little webs. And it works! It just kind of shrivels them up and they disappear. That one did. Okay. So let me show it to you with the lights on. Now the top part is not glow in the dark. Isn't that cute? Yes, they are super cute. You Oh, you have the power punch, so that'd be cute. Tracy used to live in Spokane until she was like my neighbor, moved to Tennessee. I will have to look her up. Okay, so this is what it looks like, not glowed, not glowing. So if you are interested, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go turn out the lights in just a second. If you're interested in this transfer, you can type the word skeletons in the comments and you will get, my bot will send you a link. If you have any questions, just ask me a question in the comments because I go through, we're still small enough that I can, I can, have, I can go through the comments. So um, if you have any questions or, or anything you would need to tell me or anything you need to ask, just put it in the comments or private message me. I'm happy to answer your questions. And again, this is, I've got this feeling inside my bones and I put it on a Hobby Lobby 90% off board that was a Marvel Comics poster, but it's on this really nice board. And we painted it with chalk paint and then this is just plain white. And then these are cutouts and we did white and glow in the dark over the top. So I'm gonna pose with this because I don't want to get one of those funky thumbnail pictures. So I'm going to I'm going to pose so I have a decent picture. That I can grab. Okay. And so I'm going to I'm going to turn out the overhead lights. I'll be right back. It won't be dark yet cuz I still have studio lights. I'll be right back. Don't leave.
coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Trying to cover up this. I'm going to turn off the TV monitor. Trying to get it dark in here. Where is Bill when I need him? Okay. And let's see. Okay, so I'm going to turn off. I'm going to I'm going to turn off these guys. Okay, so just these overhead ones are on. So let me, I'm going to hold it up here to charge up that paste real quick. And then we'll turn off all the lights and hopefully it will glow. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to close my computer, and ready, let's see, ooh, look at that, cute, I love it, aren't those awesome, I love it, now I'm going to turn the light back on, okay, so it worked, it worked, it turned out cute, and I just lost my computer because I shut the lid, so, I hope you like this project. Here I am in the dark, in the shadows. I hope you liked it. And we will be back um, maybe tomorrow night with another fun project, but follow us on our page. I really am in the dark. Here. Turn the lights back on. So follow us on our page. You can see when we go live. If you want live notifications sent to your phone, uh, just, just say, notifications in the in the comments and I'll get you hooked up on that. So I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope you'll try it out. If nothing else, try out the glow in the dark paste. It's work it's it's lots of fun. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with us and we will see you next time. Bye bye.